Okay, this one's really cool. I wish I had learned this in school. This week, I was doing a deep dive in the internet researching ancient history, and I found out about female Muslim warriors of the Mughal Empire. Around the 15th century, this dude called Babur became the emperor of the Mughal Empire, which is kind of like Northern India. Not to be confused with this legend of a king, Pubar. So Babur was kind of well known for having a harem of 5,000 women go wherever he went. However, it's not harem like kind of what you think. Turns out there was a lot of like elderly women, grandmas, noble women. They weren't all there for the pleasure. So these 5,000 women needed protection, but only women and eunuchs were allowed in the harem headquarters. So therefore the security had to be women. So this group of kick-ass female security guards were called the Erdo Beegis, and they were quite feared. Now, unfortunately, there is really little information surviving about them because women tend to get erased out of the history books. However, one female historian did decide to write about them. And she wrote down the name and story of Bibi Fatima, who was the chief security guard. This probably isn't a picture of Bibi, but we'll run with it. So in 1564, Bibi went to the emperor to say, please help, my daughter has married a man and the man is threatening to kill her. We need to do something about it. So the king was like, okay, uh, I will, I'll send him a message. The king sent a message to the bad husband to say like, yo, don't kill your wife, I'm watching you. And everybody went over to try and stop that. So when everyone arrived to do a welfare check, the husband stabbed Bibi's daughter in front of everyone and then flung his knife as if challenging everyone else. Now, the historical record gets a bit fuzzy around here, but I can only imagine that some shizzle went down. What's crazy is that the Mughal Empire and therefore the Harim and the Odo Beegis continued until 1858, which is when they lost the throne to the British. But for all those years, there was an amazing sect of female Muslim warrior women that nobody knows about and I think it's really cool.